Snacks and playing games when there's sunny weather. La, 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 la. If there's rain, they're singing songs or reading books together. La, 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 la. Every day just has a way of feeling extra lucky. into character. <gasps> oh, heavens! Ha-ha! Whack, whack! Take that, foul beast! Your breath is terrible! Huh? I've conquered the dragon! The people of my kingdom are safe once again! Let's hear it for King Bucky Bear! Hooray! 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 <laughs> Amazing performance, Bucky. Good job. Yeah, Bucky, you're really super good at playing a king. Well, if you say so, maybe I am. Why aren't you hanging your costume up? I'm just going to wear this home tonight. Of course, your highness, whatever you please. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep? And why have you come before us? Bucky, come with us. We're gonna have a soccer game. Are you joking? I'm far too busy with matters of state to play soccer. Dragons are everywhere. Be gone. Maybe we might join you. Of course, anything you please, your royal highness. No chance you're stopping this one. Yuh-huh, just bring it on. Mm -hmm. ah. uh -huh. Welcome, your royal buckiness. Dost thou wish to play soccer? A great king never plays. A king observes and judges. I royally open this tournament. Bucky, enough! Drop the act! The play's been over for a long time! Yeah, time to move on from this King Junk. King Junk? That's how you talk to the bear that protects you from dragons? Uh, you are aware dragons aren't real, right? They're very real! There's fire-breathing ones, three-headed ones, little purple ones, ones on scooters. There's like a trillion different kinds. And I've set traps for all of them. Huh? But maybe I'll just let them eat you. How about that? Fine, do whatever you want. Let's get out of here, Franny. Fine, but you'll come running back the second a dragon appears and tries to gobble you up. Bucky's gotten pretty deep into this character. He's lost his mind. Let's go play tag. Sure thing, you're it. Can't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> Bucky the 
inventor better than King Doofus the First or whatever. <laughs> yeah, really? Well, as it turns out, absolute power isn't that fun. How about a good old soccer game? Hooray! I call goalie! I call queen! Chicky's Adventure. This one time, something crazy happened with Chicky. You're all set, Chicky. Starting you up now. We were teaching Chicky to fly, which seemed like a good idea at the time. Hooray! Our favorite bird has finally taken wing. Look at him go! Yes! 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 No! Uh, yo, Bucky, what are you doing? It isn't me. It's the wind. Stop it, you big dumb wind. Ah. Oh. Poor Chicky. Hurry up, we need to find him. Chicky! 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 was that magical moment when Chicky met Chickette. It was super duper like-like for both of them at first sight. Chickette invited Chicky to her town. It turned out there was a whole village here in the forest where everyone looks exactly like Chicky. Kooky, right? Okay, not exactly, but pretty close. Variations on a theme. A whole feathery rainbow of Chickies. Pink chickies, blue chickies, aquamarine chickies. But everyone in Chickie's town wanted to fly away because actually they were stuck far, far away from their real home. But their flying ship was broken and they couldn't fix it because they didn't have opposable thumbs or the right parts. It was an import, but they got it for a very reasonable price. Every bird there loved Chickie. Duh, cause he's awesome. But then the king showed up. The king was way uptight and did not like outsiders. He banished Chicky, which really bummed Chicky out. But what was he gonna do? The king was king after all. Chicky was sad. Oh, he felt so bad. But then an idea popped into his bird brain. Cheep, cheep, tweet, tweet, tweet. Which means if I help them, maybe they'll let me stay. So he brought them new parts for their flying ship. Cheep, chirp, cheep, cheep, chirp, cheep, tweet, tweet, cheep, cluck, beep, beep, toot, toot, squeak, squeak, tweet, tweet, hop, tweet, freak, cheep, freak, freak, cluck, cluck, peck, free, zoom, zoom, toot, sweet, which means everybody have you heard about Chicky, our brand new favorite bird. Spread the word. The other Chickies all got ready to take off. And Chickette asked Chicky to come with them. Chicky thought hard about it for a second and a half then agreed. And there they went, flying peacefully off into the sunset to live happily ever. Wait, what was happening? Uh, getting nauseous and scared, scared That's it, the chickies were very scared What oh what was going to happen to the SS Sky Chicky? It was pretty exciting, right? Chicky performed all his own stunts, by the way. Chicky floated down into the forest. While the monster wind blew the flying ship far, far away, taking dear sweet Chickette with it. Chicky! <sighs> there you are! <laughs> I wonder what Chicky was up to while we were trying to find him. Goodness! Somebody's here! Oh, 
Um, Chicky, I think it's for you. And that's the story of Chicky's adventure. And except for the parts I made up, it's 200% completely true. Boat race! Sleek and speeding sailing ships Racing down the river Breaking hearts and fighting squid Good morning, Bjorn. Uh, Let's go for a hike. I'm sorry, Franny. I can't go. I've got to get ready for the race today. Goodness me. Races are exciting. Just who are you racing? I'm racing Bucky. And the winner gets a real semi-gold medal. It's a boat race. Look at it, my sleek and powerful canoe. Wow, it really is beautiful. Can I ride with you in the uh -uh. race? Uh-uh. I can't carry any extra weight. Anyway, Franny, the current's so fast, it's really kind of dangerous. Ugh. But you could come and support me instead. Huh. Hi there, Bucky. What are you doing? Working on your boat for the race? Hi, Franny. Yep, you guessed right. My boat is really something else. That semi-gold medal is mine. Could we be a racing team? Sorry, but we can't. This is a one mammal boat. <sighs> but if you could come cheer for me, that'd be great. I'm not a cheerleader. <laughs> Bjorni, what is this thing? A little wooden bathtub? Better make sure you don't accidentally pull the plug, cause you'll sink. <laughs> yeah, just laugh your furry face off. I'll be waiting at the finish line when you're done. Franny, the fabulous floating fancy fox. Hey, racing bears, the fox is here. Is that a cross between a donut and a duck you're in? It's fine with me if she wants to race. Let's let her, Bucky. Where is the end of the race? It's just a simple straight shot to that ribbon way up ahead. First one to it wins. Yeehaw! Franny, the floating first place fox. Whoa! Ugh. That was crazy. Like some kind of mega high jump water trampolini thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a glitter carp. They're insanely rare. Hey, come back, Mr. Glitter Carp. One fish, two fish, three, four, five fish. But where is that shiny jive fish? Giving Franny lots of shoulder rubs and respecting her intelligence. Well, it could happen, right? Giving her opinion equal weight and maybe yeah. doing the dishes for Franny. once. Where'd Bjorn go? He must have slipped by me. And that guys. just will not stand. I feel the need, the need to go fast. That brown furry oh, blur oh. is Bucky Bear. Hmm? Yeah! Awesome! It's time for a little nitrous boost, I think. the anchor button nitrous button by mistake. Bucky, are you all right? I asked because you're hanging upside down from a tree. Just taking a little break. When you think upside down, more blood gets to your brain. Uh, Ow. Makes sense. Have a nice little break. Catch you later. And we'll change the name of the country to Franny Foxland. And everybody <laughs> will take naps and share their bacon. And if you're in a crabby mood, you'll have to wear a so it's over. This little wooden bathtub is about to cross the finish line first. Oh, wow. It's an incredibly rare Liberace dragonfly. <laughs> Wait for me, Bjorni. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Bucky! That's unacceptable. You knocked away my oar. I didn't mean to. I'm really sorry, but I can't help. I lost my anchor in a labeling accident. Bye! That's my semi-gold medal. Oh. Ah. No! Uh, uh, stop following me! Never! <laughs> and all the clouds would be pink in Franny Foxland. This must be where the finish line is. Hooray! Let's hear it for Franny the Fox, the winner! Come on! Franny won? She beat our awesome boats with a dumb inflatable duck thing? Oh, yes, she did.
But I got to see a real-life genuine glitter carp and a Liberace dragonfly. And I invented the water trampoline. Guys, I want to give you these. I had so much fun today. I really don't care about the medal at all. I just can't wait to do this again. Giving, Giving her opinions equal weight. And maybe doing the dishes for once. Here in Franny.